Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Frozen Fan Forge. Good evening, Frozen Fan Forge. I'm with you here. It's 8 10 p.m. on Monday, December 7th, 2020. Welcome to day 7 of 25 Days of Disney, the 2020 edition. And we are covering, I covered Frozen 2 on day 2. For day 7, I'm covering the first one, the one that started it all, Frozen, released in November of 2013. I remember seeing this in the movie theaters with my grandparents, and I saw it also in the beginning of the two thousand of two thousand fourteen. I do recall, and it was a big box office hit that year. It shattered all different kinds of rec all kinds of records, and it said it was the best one since The Lion King, which many critics hailed. And I real and I think that's pr perfectly. Fitting. Of course, it takes place in the fictional kingdom of Arendelle. No one knew where it was. Some people... It's in Norway Pavilion at Epcot's World Showcase, so... Must be Scandinavian. Guessing probably... Nor yeah, it's Norway. Has to be Norway. But it's not proven yet, but... The film follows the... Princess Anna, who goes off on a journey with the rugged mountain man Kristoff and his... Sven, his reindeer, who we had ever since he was a little kid. They have to find their... She has to find her sister Elsa. She trapped the kingdom in an eternal winter, and along the way they meet a lovable snowman named Olaf, who longs to have summer so he can play around, but the problem is he can he can melt away. He's not far as a snowman, but he he, can, he is a very funny person. I can tell you that. It's wonderful. Kristen Bell, Idina Menzel, Jonathan Groff, Josh Gad provide the voices in there. The music was done by by Lopez. Robert and Kristen Lopez did the music. Let it go. Love is an open door. In summer. The first time in forever were big hits. And of course, the only way that they can thaw frozen heart was an act of love. And it happens at the end when Elsa's tears saved her sister. And Anna wanted to have Hans, Hans marry her, but Elsa told her, You can't marry a man you just met. And then after, at the end, she said, The only frozen heart that I see around here is yours, and pushes Hans off the boat and into the water. Yeah, that was pretty funny. You might You might as well call it a little bit of payback, but... That's anyway. Its success led to a sequel, which I covered in day number two, released six years later in 2019. A Broadway musical. We don't know if that's still going on yet, but some attractions at the Disney parks, even a ride, Frozen Ever After, at the Epcot World Showcase Pavilion, Norway Pavilion, and many character meet and greets at the parks, which are currently on hold because of this pandemic. I know it sucks, but that's it is what it is, and we gotta take it. And of course, with that film, there's a Get a Horse Mickey Mouse short that played just before it. And of course, I forgot to mention there were two animated shorts that came with it: Frozen Fever, which played before the live action version of Cinderella, and Olaf's Frozen Adventure, which which aired before which came before Coco. Unfortunately, that 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 didn't last very long. And Frozen to this day remains one of Disney's true classics and one of their biggest sensations of them all. If you haven't seen it yet, you don't know what you're missing out on. Give this a shot. You'll be amazed at what what it is. So that's going to do it. I'm Frozen Fan4291. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you all have a great Monday. Catch you tomorrow for Day 8. Take care and have a good night.